going to show you guys how to spatchcock a chicken. Uh, it sounds like a funny word. Everybody's giggling, big smiles. It is fun to say, spatchcock, spatchcock. Um, it's actually a derivative of dispatching the cock, and it's a phrase that was used in Ireland. Um, in farming days, I'm serious, when they would go out to, you know, the chicken. Um, but really, what it means is a quick and easy way to prepare poultry of any kind and any size, and it cooks quicker. That's the point in doing this. What you need to do is flip the chicken breast side down and find the backbone. You can literally feel it. Get some poultry shears or good strong kitchen scissors, and all you're going to do is remove the spine of the bird. You cut literally right through and down each side of the spine. It sounds a little creepy, you know? <laughs> but I gotta tell you, you can ask your butcher to do this, but it takes zero effort and it's super easy and it makes an enormous difference in the cooking time. Anybody can do this. That's it. Now, you can save this and use it for uh, chicken stock the next time you're making a big pot of stock. Uh, I also clip the wing tips and you can throw those into a nice pot with all of your scraps from herbs, parsley stems, and your carrot, celery, onion, your usual suspects for stock, and use that to get every nickel out of your chicken. And the next thing you do to prepare the bird is to just push firmly down and crack that breastbone so that the bird will sit flat. I've got one resting here on a uh, lined baking sheet. I put a liner in there of a little metal rack so that the fat can drip away from the bird as it's cooking up in the oven. The next thing you know about cooking a terrific chicken or Cornish hen or turkey is to salt it and leave it uncovered in your refrigerator overnight. Uncovered, lowest part of the fridge, overnight. The salt will start to draw out the liquids and it'll make the crispiest, most tender chicken like ever. If you have the time to do it, get it done the day before, uh, of course, if not, just salt the chicken, throw it in the fridge for an hour or so, and let it rest a bit. So, uh, our chicken, to get it into the oven, I've toasted some cumin seed. Ground cumin is fine, too. If you have whole seeds, you can toast them, and they get really fragrant, and it just releases all their flavor. We're gonna put a little on the chicken while it's roasting, and we're gonna put a little in our mojo sauce. So we're gonna grind up our fragrant cumin. We're going to dress the chicken with olive oil or canola or vegetable oil, a fat drizzle. We're going to add pepper and half of our cumin. I'm gonna throw this in the oven and get it roasting at 400 degrees until the thermometer meet, reads 165 or the juices run clear for you. And when it comes out of the oven, we're gonna let it rest a bit and pour our mojo sauce over the top. Now, I'm adding lime juice first so that the uh, blender, or you could use a food processor, has a little liquid in the bottom to get the sauce moving. We're gonna make this bright green, really vibrant sauce with very few ingredients to it. So we juice in our limes. I'm gonna take the top off of my cruet here and pour in about a half a cup of good olive oil, little E-V-O-O -O, from our pantry. Salt and pepper. And if you want a mild sauce, one seeded jalapeno. In chilies, the heat lives in the ribs, in the guts, in the ribs and the seeds. That's where the heat lives. So if you strip that out, it reduces the heat index for that chili pepper. My family likes things extra spicy, so I put in two. You might want to start with one and go from there. Um, two fat cloves of garlic, another one of our pantry items. And then one entire bunch of cilantro or parsley. You rip the entire head. It's sort of like, well, not to be violent, but like rip the head off the dolly. <laughs> so you put that entire bunch in there. And remember, we reserved half of our ground cumin seed. So we're going to throw that in. And that's it. You just let this go. until it's really smooth and bright green and horrible. This is so pretty. We have our cumin roast chicken, and I'm slathering it with our mojo sauce, which is just cilantro or parsley, garlic, fresh chilies, lime, and olive oil, and the um, extra, the leftover cumin seed that we toasted up. And you pour that over the chicken and cut it in half if you're big eaters and quarter it if you're normal eaters. This is a whole chicken that we spatchcocked or made flat. 
so it had an even and a quicker cooking time. A four pound chicken is gonna only take you about 35 to 40 minutes to get it to 165. You slather that sauce all over the top and you can serve a little extra on side. And if you wanna round out the meal, that's just five ingredients to make that and it's delicious, wildly good. If you wanna round it out, just throw out some cut fruit. In this case, we have some seedless watermelon and some grilled corn. And you know what? If you're a vegetarian, Moho's delicious on grilled corn. <laughs> Woo! <laughs>